Introduction to Visual Basic Programming is the most important part of computer science. We run several applications on computers every day. These applications have their roots in the programs. All applications are based on programs created in different languages. In previous classes, you have read the simple programming concepts using QBasic. Now, we shall use visual tools with BASIC and the combination of visual tools with BASIC language will sum another language, Visual BASIC. It is a powerful language with all commands you have used with BASIC language. Let us study this powerful visual language, Visual BASIC. Visual Basic 2015 Visual Basic is a visual version of Basic Language. Its older versions were not object-oriented. But with the release of VB 2008 version, it has become fully object-oriented programming language OOP. With its full capabilities, it has now caught up other OOP languages like Java, C hash. Event-driven programming In event-driven programming, the user performs some actions by clicking a button, pulling down a menu, moving the mouse across an icon bar, etc. These actions are called events. In Visual Basic, a programmer can create various graphical user interfaces by pointing and clicking with the mouse. Visual programming eliminates the need of writing the codes. The programmer creates the GUI and writes the code to describe what happens when the user interacts with the GUI. These happenings are also events. In event-driven programming, the statements are not executed in the sequence in which they are written. They are executed when a corresponding event happens. The user's action activates a particular part of the program. Features of Visual Basic Features of Visual Basic VB includes a GUI development environment to create Windows-based applications. VB is suitable for rapid application development. It has very good debugging facilities. It is suitable for business applications. Starting Visual Basic Click Start All Programs Microsoft Visual Studio The Visual Studio window will appear on the screen. Click over New Project. To start a project for creating an application with Windows User's Interface, select Visual Basic from New Project dialog box. Select Windows Forms Application from New Project dialog box. Click OK. A blank form will appear on the screen and you are ready to work with. Integrated Development Environment The standard Visual Basic 2015 window contains menu bar, toolbar, toolbox, and various other small windows like Solution Explorer, Form Properties, Code Window, etc. VB 2015 Integrated Development Environment bundles all such tools and provides an interface where we can design, edit, Compile and execute on a single platform. Components of Visual Basic Title Bar The title bar is present at the top of the window, like the other applications, and displays the name of currently opened project. Menu Bar the menu bar has several menus which have further drop-down options. 
Commands for developing and executing the programs are contained in the menus. Toolbar Toolbar contains various icons. These icons are the shortcuts for different menu items. Instead of navigating the menus for commands, the user can select them directly from the toolbar. Form window The form window contains a blank form named Form 1. At this place, the program's graphical user interface is displayed. All controls are placed within a form to create screens. You can resize a form by clicking and dragging of the form's enabled sizing handles. Properties window The properties window displays properties for a form or control. Properties relate to size, position, font, color, text, etc. Controls often differ in the number and type of properties. Solution Explorer The Solution Explorer shows a hierarchy of solutions, projects, files and code. It provides updated information about the status of the solution and its projects and items so that you can work on several projects at the same time. Toolbox The toolbox displays icons for controls and other items that you can add to Visual Studio projects. If the toolbox is not present on the VB screen, you can bring it by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus X keys or through View Toolbox option. Code window You can write code for VB programs in the code window. Code consists of various statements and declarations. Using the code window, you can quickly view and edit any of the codes in your application. Double click the form or control for which you have to write code or right click the control and select View Code option or press F7 key. Creating a VB application Open a new VB project. Create a form and add controls of your choice. Set properties of the different controls added by you. Write codes for various events for the control and run the application. Creating a form When you start new project, a blank form with the name Form 1 is visible on the screen. To add more forms in the project, you can click Project, Add New Item. Add New Item dialog box appears on the screen and you can choose Windows Form option. A new blank form will be added in the project. Adding controls to a form Pick the control tool in the toolbox by clicking over it. Drag the control tool on the form. Release the mouse after drawing the control. After releasing the mouse, the pointer tool will be selected again and you are ready to draw another control. Note, if the toolbox is not present on the Visual Basic window, click View, Toolbox. Setting the properties of the controls. Select Control from the toolbox. Select the desired property from the Properties window. Set the property and note the changes taking place in the form. Commonly used controls VB provides various controls. We are using some of the controls in this chapter.
The following controls are frequently used in the projects. Button or command button A button control is used to begin, interrupt or end a process. A command button performs action just by clicking over it. Command buttons appear in almost every window of every Windows application. Command buttons determine when the user wants to do something such as exit the application or begin printing. In almost every case, you will perform these tasks to add a command button to an application. Double click the button control to add it on the form. You can change its caption by typing the name in the name rectangular box in properties window. You can add a picture or icon on this command button by selecting image option in properties window. The common properties of button control are given in the following table. Name The name property identifies a command button while writing the program. Default name is button 1. Text The property contains the text which is displayed on the command button. Font This property sets the font size, font, font style, text alignment, etc. for the command button. Default font name is Microsoft Sans Serif. Label A label control is used to display some text on the form. The common properties of label control are given in the following table. Name The name property identifies a command button while writing the program. Default name is label 1. Text. The property contains the text which is displayed on the label. Font. This property sets the font size, font, font style, text alignment, etc. for the label. Default font name is Microsoft Sans Serif. Checkbox. Checkbox control is used to select an option from a square box. The common properties of checkbox control are given in the following table. Name The name property identifies a checkbox while writing the program. The default name is checkbox1. Text The property contains the text which is displayed on the checkbox. Font this property sets the font size, font, font style, text alignment, etc. for the checkbox. Default font name is Microsoft Sans Serif. Text box A text box control is used to receive input from the user. We can enter text and numbers through this box. You can set the properties for the text box control in the similar manner as done by you in the previous controls. Radio button A radio button control is used to select or deselect an option. It is in the form of a small circle. Writing codes for an event Create a label control on the form using Label tool. Right-click the Label control and press View Code option or simply click F7 key. Code for a label control We have written the following code for the label control in between the private sub and end sub lines. Label1.text is equal to Welcome to Chips and Bytes. Executing a Visual Basic Project You can run VB Project in the following manner. Press F5 key on the keyboard. Click Start Debug. 
Start Debugging option. Click Start Debugging button on the standard toolbar. The program code written in the previous steps has been executed as above. Saving a VB project. Click File. Save Form 1.VB option. The Save File as dialog box appears on the screen. Select the location where you have to save the form. Enter the name for the form. Click Save button. The project will be saved. Opening an existing project. Click File. Open Project. The Open Project dialog box appears on the screen. Select your project to be opened. Click Open button. The selected project will be open. In the project window, choose the form which you want to open and click Open button. Arithmetical Operators Most programs perform arithmetic calculations. Symbol of arithmetic operator. Description. Example. Result. Plus. Addition. Adds two values. 12 plus 4. 16. Minus. Subtraction. Subtracts one number from another. 12 minus 4. 8. Slash. Division. Divides one integer with another. 10 by 4, 2.5. Asterisk, multiplication. Multiplies two numbers. 12 multiplied 4, 48. Backslash, integer division. Displays the rounded value after division. 12 by 5, 2. Exponent, exponential. Raises one operand to the power of another. 3 exponent 2, 9. Mod. Modulus returns the remainder after division. 12 mod 5, 2.